Hi guys, just knocking up a quick video tutorial to show you how to use the basic features of the uh, 7DR Hero and Ascension Item Tracker. So first of all, we're going to uh, open the sheet from the 7 Days Departed web page using this link here. And we'll pop it up in a new tab and switch to. So this is the sheet that um, is shared out to everyone. So in order to not step on other people and what they're doing, uh, we might use the app first. So we'll open it inside the Google Sheets app. And then we're going to have to make a copy of this and save it in our own local drive. So we click the three dots, share and export, and make a copy. Then we can give it a name. Let's call this one Rick so I can find it again later. Okay, and it'll now make a complete copy of that sheet on our local drive, and we can do stuff to that, and hopefully we shouldn't upset anyone else. Okay. At the front, we've just got a, a few instructions, um, and there's a little bit of a graphic there that just uh, shows uh, the Ascension item logic that we use inside the tool. So where you want to start is the My Heroes and Items. So there's a few columns here. Columns B, C, D, E, and F are ones that we can modify, and column Y. The rest of them are all formulas, and they'll auto-calculate depending on what we choose. So in column B, we've got a whole stack of pull-downs, and we can choose any hero that's 3, 4, or 5 star um, as of the latest patch. So if you click on there, it gives you a nice little pop-up, and we can select Cabin Boy Peters. It should colorize it, and it should automatically sort that range for us. Might just take some time. There we go. So now it's auto-sorted. The reason we need to auto-sort is because these have to be in alphabetical order in order for a lot of the formula inside the AW Team Planner to work. So I've, um, I wrote a little script that forces that to auto-sort whenever a change is made on this sheet. So for Cabin Boy, we can um, select his current tier. So for argument's sake, 3. His current level. We can just enter uh, 60. Yep. Uh, we can also select um, his current special, so for argument's sake it's 7-8. And then we can choose whether or not we want to assign Ascension mats to this guy. So if we click yes, it'll automatically deduct the mat materials required for Peters from the table on the other side. So, yeah, so if you've entered your stuff in column Y, you can actually see a running total as you're assigning things to your guys. So that's pretty easy. So you're basically just in there, enter all your heroes, perfect place to start. So next, we want to go to the Team Planner. Now this bit's kind of cool, so I'll clear a couple of these off here. Oops, wrong cell. Clear. 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 Okay. So the list on the side here will allow you to choose any hero that you've entered in the other sheet. And you can click anywhere in here, it doesn't matter where you put it. So if we get our cabin boy that we just entered, we can select him and then it will automatically sort the sheet for you in alphabetical order. Once you've got all your heroes in here, then you can allocate them to different teams on the right. So if you're in your first battle in, in Alliance Wars, you've uh, picked a team to take out a certain enemy, you can then enter that team here. So for argument's sake, Bold Tusk. And here we can go Cabin Boy Peters. Now the really nice thing about this is, it's also graying them out on the other side. So as you go through your Alliance Wars battle, um, it will basically only leave you with the heroes that you can still use. So it gives you a nice place at a glance that you can see what you've still got available without having to go and actually um, you know, start to or reserve a battle with an enemy to see that stuff. You'll get a tally of the um, approximate team power. Now that only takes into account the max power for that hero. Uh, and no troops or anything like that. And we've also got a little uh, box over here that gives you uh, a count of each type of hero. So you can see then in your group of 30 whether you're heavy in holy and light in something else. Okay, now one of the tricky gotchas with this is if for argument's sake I take Cyprian here. Yep, come on, give me the pop-up. There we go. And put in something that's not in correct alphabetical order, like Sonia. When that resorts, I oh know that was a bad example. I need something higher. So let's take 
um, change Aries to be Chow for argument's sake. No, it still won't break it. Yep, that'll break it. Cool. It's had to resort the list alphabetically, which means our selections over here weren't the same anymore. So when you add another hero, you need to go back and reselect what you need from here. So if we reselect Bold Tusk again and reselect Peters again, we'll be right. Now the reason um, that happens is it's a limitation of what we can do with Google Sheets. I'm eventually going to write a script that just fixes all of that, but I'm not quite there yet. Cool. And that essentially is um, how the, the hero um, tracker works for Alliance Wars. So you can eventually get all of your 30 in there, move them where you like, and um, yeah, it gives you a one pane view uh, where you can manage all that stuff. Now the last cool feature on here is the hero comparison. Now a lot of you guys have probably seen this one before, but it is quite neat. So here we've got two heroes selected at the moment. We've got Elkin and Athena. So once again, it's just a pull down. So you can compare any two heroes in the game using these pull downs. So say as are. So it gives you a comparison in green, um, the stats that are higher for a particular hero, and in red, the stats that are lower for a particular hero. It'll compare their special speed, uh, the attack percentage, and the really neat bit is down here when you scroll up a little. There's none there for three-star heroes, unfortunately, because the guys didn't do any grading information for those. Uh, but the grading information would appear here. So if we bump a czar, and let's go Ares for argument's sake, it will now fill in all the grading information from the grading sheet that Anchor and those guys put together. So it's pretty cool to be able to see that in one spot. And we've now got high-def images of the hero cards as well. And that's about it, guys. That's pretty much all it does. If you've got any questions, just drop me a line, and um, yeah, I'll help in any way I can. Cheers!